the city spent nearly $2.5 million to purchase the land. Huge investment is needed for the city to set up a nursery near a station. The city faces the major task of adequately meeting the public need while reducing the financial burden on users. Now let's take a look at Tokyo market figures for Monday. The U.S. dollar was being traded at 106.05 to 08 yen, up 1.08 yen from late Friday. The euro was trading between 0 0.9561 and 9.564 dollars, and between 101.40 to 45 yen. The Nikkei average of 225 selected issues closed at 20,619 yen. That's a gain of 366 yen from Friday's finish. Topics was 1,716, up 39 points. The volume of trade was 519 million shares. Here are our top three gainers in the first section of the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Arabian oil gained 38%. Next losers, Nagasakiya lost 27%. The yield on the benchmark 10-year Japanese government bond number 221 stood at 1.735%, up 0.015 percentage points from late Friday. Finally, let's recap today's top news story. The leaders of North and South Korea will hold their first ever summit in Pyongyang in June. The decision was announced by the North and South at the same time on Monday morning. They said that South Korean President Kim Dae-jun will travel to Pyongyang from June 12th to 14th to hold a historic meeting with the North Korean leader, General Secretary Kim Jong-il. They said the two sides will hold a working level meeting by the end of this month to prepare for the summit. The South Korean announcement says the two leaders will discuss the reunion of families divided since the Korean War, economic cooperation, and a broad range of issues, including political and military issues. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Inar Takao. See you again on Newswatch. こんばんは。日付は変わって4月11日になりました。ここで15分間ニュースと気象情報をお伝えします。北海道の宇津山は複数の火口から断続的に森内閣の発足を受けて青木官房長官と自民党森派会長の小泉元厚生大臣らが